An Art Journal Tutorial from the Back to the Basics series by Karen Virchow. These are the techniques that we're going to use in this piece. Collage, two different kinds, splatter, and drippage. So I've just set the page and I'm pulling out my leftover paint that I use, that I mop up with paper towel, deli paper, or coffee filters. And I'm trying to decide on the color that I want. So here are the other pages that I've that we've completed, and you can check the blog and YouTube for the other lessons. So I'm going through those and again picking what I want. I want to develop some texture and basically do the color. I'm really liking the coral color that came from this. So I'm just going to rip it up in strips. At this time, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave a lot of white space. And you could have just left it at this with a lot of white space and had a very different look. As you'll see, I cover the entire page with the paper towels that have been soaked in. Here's a picture of the brushes that I got from Walmart, they're perfect for gesso and for applying gel medium or Mod Podge. I get them from Walmart. They're very inexpensive and they come in this pack of threes. I believe the company is Plaid. So I'm just using Mod Podge to adhere the different strips of paper towel. Now the paper towel, the texture is absolutely amazing when you Mod Podge it on or use gel medium on the background. And I am thinking at this time that maybe I'm going to leave it at this. I like the white space in between and then I start putting some across. As you'll see I end up covering the entire surface. When you're collaging on the background you can do either technique where it's all covered with the paper. So why rip it? Well when you rip it and you layer it you develop more texture on the background and that's the purpose of one of the collage techniques. You develop the, the texture underneath and even if you color it with paint afterwards apply a layer of gesso or a different color so the colors that they initially start with are, you know, not important. Or leaving the color like I have it, it adds the texture. At this point, I don't know which route I'm going to. And one of my videos, upcoming videos, will have it where I do something else. So I think it's at this point that I decide that I'm going to cover the entire thing. And the texture on this page is amazing. Not only do you have the texture that comes with the paper towel, but you have the texture of the different layers and it's, I tried to rip all this, the um, <clears throat> pieces. So you get that uneven rugged edges and that adds to it. And later when we use drippage and splatter, that changes how that will look. Because I'm adding so many layers with the Mod Podge, this will take a long time to dry. It also makes the page very, very thick. Be warned that usually when you do collage in this way, you will need more than what would cover the page if you just glued the page right down because one paper towel almost covered the whole page but it took me more than 
two to cover this. After drying it, I'm just trimming off the excess that goes over the edges. And now I'm deciding on what I'm going to put. And I've decided that I'm going to use this girl and I'm going to add some butterfly wings to her. So this is the second kind of collage. We're using collage and altering pictures by paint or by mix and matching pictures to make a point. And I really like the yellow, the gold look of the butterfly wings and the girl here against this background. So I decided I'm not going to paint the background or do anything over it. If I want it to dull it, I could just do um, thin white acrylic paint or thinned gesso and kind of do a whitewash effect. But I'm liking this. When I cut the butterfly apart, it give, makes makes it a, able to, me able to be able to make it make the wings a little bit bigger to fit under the girl. So again, I'm just mod podging underneath and on top of the picture and positioning the wings so that it's on the page and then giving this a quick dry. So I closed the book and it wasn't quite dry so I ripped off some of the magazine. So I'm going in with some of my acrylic paint in a color that's yellow and I'm painting the other wing just so when all said and done you can't tell the difference. And I'm just adding some of the black back just to make it pop a little bit more. Just because it's a magazine picture doesn't mean you have to leave it the colors that it is. Acrylic paints will go over that. And if they don't, if you apply a layer of gesso first, then do it, then it'll be covered. I'm going around with my charcoal pencil. But because the paper towel underneath and the Mod Podge isn't quite dry, I'm having a little bit of a hard time here. I do end up using my Stabilo All Pencil, but I think if it was completely dry, if I'd left this overnight, I would have had success with the charcoal pencil. I was just impatient, and I, I chose to use the Stabilo All Pencil. I think it's a good idea whether you um, to invest in a black watercolor pencil or a Stabilo All Pencil. It's one of those basics and you get a lot of mileage out of it. It's something that you'll grab for with every page. So even if you don't want to get a whole watercolor set, you can often buy just the black or the dark brown um, colors in some of the, some art stores. So that's something to invest in. I think that would I would highly recommend that. The Stabilo All Pencil goes on like the charcoal. But when you activate it with water, it even becomes darker. And that's what you're seeing happening here. So I'm getting some black on a makeup sponge and I'm just edging around the pages. And I'm not being overly careful I want it to look uneven and it's catching in the texture and that's what I want. You could also go around with the charcoal pencil as we've done on other pages or the Stabilo All Pencil or Watercolor Pencil. It just helps finish the page. So I have some gold paint, acrylic paint, and I am thinning it down with just plain tap water, mixing it up to make sure it melts. Now this one wasn't a dollar store gold, but 
you could, I just don't happen to have a gold. So I'm using my Liquitex gold. And I, again, this would be one of the basics I use. So I'm getting a lot on the brush and I'm just rubbing it off across the top. What I want to happen is I want to get the drips going down the page. And this is adding that little bit of shimmer and I'm playing up the yellow color that's both in the background and in the butterfly wings. So I'm playing, putting lots of water and um, acrylic and just tapping it on the table to make it go down the page. And I want this to be interesting. It's adding sparkle and shimmer and color. And so I just add more water if I want need it to be darker and add more of the uh, thinned out acrylic. And then I'm just drying it. Then I decide I'm going to splatter with the gold paint as well. And I'm just tapping one brush against another brush and getting the gold splatters everywhere on the page just to make that a little bit more cohesive. I'm deciding I want some black splatters as well, so I'm thinning some black acrylic paint. And I'm using a fan brush this time. I find that that gives a really good, good thing, and I'm just tapping it with another brush. You can see that shimmer and the, and the splatters, it's all adding to the page. I have my quote here, all you have, your wings already exist, all you have to do is fly, and I'm just painting it with very thinned out gold paint. The white just looked a little too stark, so I'm giving it a little bit of a color, again to match the gold and to blend into the girl's dress. I'm using brown. acrylic paint thinned on a paint on a sponge makeup sponge and I'm just kind of sponging the edges again just to get rid of that stark whiteness using Mod Podge to apply under and over top of the quote and as you can see I'm not putting the quote perfectly straight perfectly even. I like to have it kind of all over the place. And you have to play around with the fonts. The size does matter. The, the, the boldness of it, it matters. It kind of needs to go with your page. Often I print out several fonts and decide which one looks best, both size and different fonts. So I'm just doing some sketching with my Micron pen. So there's the page. I try with the micron pan, but the, the texture there is too rough. It's just not going to work. Let's see some of the sketchiness. Right away, I'm going to show you that you can print off butterfly wings off the internet. Just Google butterfly clip art black and white and you can print off wings and make them whatever size you want and put them onto any magazine picture that you have. With this, you'll have to paint with the acrylic paint on top. So you don't necessarily need to have the butterfly wings available. Thanks for watching. I hope you give this page a try. Be sure to post it on the Facebook group, All Things Mixed Media, Creative Katie. See you there.